how's it going everyone welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having an amazing day and merry christmas to all of you blessings as well now i want to just talk about this fun tweet right here uh, by the way nothing i say is financial advice i'm not a financial advisor so anything i say is literally just my own opinion my disclaimers in the description but yeah do not buy or sell anything because of anything i say i'm just a youtuber likes making videos for fun but this photo exemplifies Neo's competitive advantage over Tesla. Neo's charging infrastructure slash ecosystem is far greater than TSLA. Now, obviously, this is not fact-based. This is more of an opinionated comment. And it's just interesting to me because it makes some sort of sense in a way because like this is a Neo-powered van that like is charging a Tesla. So this is cool. It just goes to show that Neo's reach isn't just going to be... In the in the car or EV market, but it's going to be in in the selling, and and of uh, not just you know car products, but also just any kind of product like e-commerce, sort of like Shopify, where they have a store. They they don't just focus on on selling a vehicle. It's a it's a much bigger brand than that, and that they're selling services around the, the EV market and just around other things. So. They're, they're trying to monopolize that. They're tr starting out with, with um, expanding their, their infrastructure and ecosystem. Right now, focusing in the largest EV market, which is China. That's where they're based at. That's where they have, they're, they're going to have the most success, obviously, because they're a Chinese company. And they ha they're going to have more favor. You're going to see that in the, in the coming years, why they're going to have more favor than, than say, you know, some you know, other competitor from a different country, like, uh, for example, Tesla. And here's another thing I want to mention now. For all of you guys who have weak hands, uh, you know, check this out. Biden names BlackRock's Brian Dees as his top economic aide. So the oncoming administration is going to play a role with whether or not Neo is going to be delisted. Because I know that that whole act just passed. It got signed into law. Uh, it became an act, actually. But, uh, you know, this this uh, economic advisor, potential advisor, is Brian Dees, who, whose company BlackRock owns 53 million Neo shares. So I don't think it's in his best interest to let this company be delisted. And I think he's going to do everything he can in his power to make sure that, you know, that company that that, that, you know, that he pretty much leads is is uh, it's still invested in, into NEO because it's going to be one of their most uh, profitable investments in the future. But just because of how, you know, NEO is going to be a number two EV maker for a while until Apple obviously steps up their game and starts building EVs as well. But for the most part, Neo and Tesla are right now, they're running things uh, when it comes to EVs. And so it would definitely impact it, that company if Neo got delisted. Imagine that though. It's not going to happen. Obviously, Neo is compliant, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, that was just a shakeout, the price dropping and stuff. I, I want to just mention the possible Apple connection though. Like, I know I'm, I'm like pretty much going everywhere, but this Apple connection with Neo could be something that plays out in the future as well. And, and having the price of Neo go up. And, and you know to an attractive price of like at least 150 in the near future i'm talking like a year or two from now but right now uh one of their employees named jamie carlson he's uh right now he's in if you look at linkedin and his experience in the past seven months it just says special projects with apple and people are speculating that this this code name or special projects means like you know new products or could be a, like a car like maybe the apple car but you know he's been working there seven months ago but if you look at his experience guys he he was the vp of the autonomous driving from 2017 to 2020 um for you know basically around three years and he was also the senior director of neo of advanced technologies from 2016 to 2017 then he got promoted as a vp of autonomous driving um during that time you know, uh, he was actually from 2015 to 2016. He was basically right before he 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 joined Neo's team. He was in special projects still, you know, with Apple. So who knows what they were working on back then? But you know, maybe he joined uh, Neo to 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 work with Neo and to learn from them and and to help them out and then bring back some knowledge and some experience to to Apple. You know, because Apple has actually been they they've been known to hire uh, other employees. Uh, from other companies like if you look right here it says uh as of the end of 2019 apple hired 500 employees from tesla 
In addition, Apple has also poached the word poached. <laughs> I know. Uh, 170 employees from Photon Motors. So could they be working on a, a car, a, you know, Apple car, like people have been speculating? Maybe. And this is one of the like these are the facts. You know, this is just, this is part of his work experience. So in previous employment, he was also working with Tesla Motors. So this is pretty interesting. And that was from you know 2013 to 2015 so for two years. He was a staff firmware engineer and an autopilot firmware manager. So he worked with the autopilot and that software, you know, autonomous. So he has a lot of experience with uh, autonomous driving pretty much because he worked with Tesla before he joined Neo. And then he worked with Neo for three years, uh, you know, uh, for a long time. And then, then joins Apple, rejoins Apple again. You know, he's very loyal to Apple because, you know, right now he's been there for the past seven months and working with, you know, under special projects. So I don't know if he's the leader there. He's the vice president of, of uh, leading Neo special projects department. I don't know. Who knows? All I know is that this might play a role in the future. Now, I know this looks sounds like a speculation, but these are the facts so far because people have leaked stuff. And they've said that there's leaks going around that, that, you know, there's like a lot of other stuff that I don't want to get into because it's just leaks it's just like speculation this is more of fact based because this is true you know you can verify this stuff this stuff is verifiable with LinkedIn and this is his profile right here Jamie Carlson but uh, one thing that will benefit Neil's price is, is that if they come up with some kind of partnership even if they don't come up with a partnership um, you know it just goes to confirm that the Neo is a, is a great company they have some of the best software out there for autonomous driving so this is one of the things that will confirm that to you guys so they're definitely gonna stay number two as, as an EV maker for at least until Apple enters the market who knows Apple might come in as number three or who might take Neo's place or who knows might stay below Neo for a while until you know they actually have it down and they've mastered the the EV market um, it, it could also be that if Apple partners up with Neo, um, this is one way that Apple could could be successful in, in the Chinese EV market. Because as I mentioned, this tweet right here, um, you know, Neo's infrastructure and ecosystem is is actually expanding and growing faster than any other EV maker, uh, to the point where other EV owners, um, you know, sometimes have to you know get help from neo powered vans uh, to come in and save the day you know charge their vehicles who knows ch change a tire do simple stuff like that um it might be that you know the future might be more convenient for ev owners to switch over to neo from like tesla or xpeng because neo already has that infrastructure they have the, a bunch of charging powers and battery swap stations where they offer a lot of services as well not just changing your battery but um, the Neo app also, sh you know, gives you the option to explore what the battery as a service has to offer for their users. So that might be very attractive. And, and the fact that, um, you know, you have a, an employee of Apple that used to work with Neo, they could be brewing up some kind of, uh, you know, project that where they work together, at least in sharing their infrastructure. Because uh, once, you know, Apple can nail the, the Chinese EV market is going to be free to to pretty much be successful in any other market like the Europe and the United States. This is why Neo has been taking a while to actually expand into other continents and markets is because they want to nail the Chinese EV market, which is right now the largest market in the world for EV. Uh, so this is going to be interesting in the future. It's going to play a role for sure. Now this is where that analyst prediction kind of comes into play about apple partnering up with either neo or xpeng now the reason why i believe that that partnership if it does happen it's more likely to happen with neo is because of this this right here is what i mentioned earlier with jamie carlson and you know and having previous employment with both tesla and neo in the past uh, but mostly with neo um, and now working uh, you know under special projects with apple who knows you know he's, he's definitely working on some kind of autonomous driving technology with apple but you know, it doesn't take away from the fact that Neo owns a lot of the infrastructure. And it's gonna is in the future because of the the, the way they've been expanding and at that rate, they're gonna end up owning most of the infrastructure when it comes to charging and battery swaps. That it's gonna be you know of Apple's best interest to partner up with Neo instead of Xpeng. And uh, you know, this is what pretty much he said. He said the chances of strategic partnerships with the likes of Tesla, Volkswagen, other auto manufacturers in China, such as Neo and Xpeng, are more than seventy percent over the next few years according to I's prediction. That could lay the groundwork for Apple's establishment of its own line of EV autos over the next decade if its EV and autonomous venture are successful with consumers. 
So this just goes to show, and then it talks about you know how Apple's basically been poaching employees from other companies uh, that have experience, you know, in, in the EV sector. So yeah, this is why I think that uh, Apple's maybe working on something like that, and they're using, um, you know, they're working with Jamie Carlson because of his experience. And autonomous driving so if you want to be successful in the EV market you have to you know expand your infrastructure like crazy and not only that but you have to also have groundbreaking technology when it comes to autonomous driving otherwise if you're not if you're not better or different than the competition you're not gonna succeed you know you have to be either better or different than the competition um, and in order to do that you have to pull people from different sectors and different companies to, to ensure that that you know you have a future in that market so yeah, that's that's what makes me predict that. Um, who knows what's, what's gonna happen in the future? Um, I, only God knows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely leave a like and comment on it if you did, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for notifications so you guys stay updated for future videos. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.